What's up, everybody? Fred here, and I'm back today playing some more Fantasy Generals 2. All right. My YouTube channel is Good Talk Gaming, by the way. All right. <laughs> Let's go into Maurik's Vale. I was looking at both of these, and I decided to do this one. Um, Just kind of a quick heads up. I was feeling sick earlier. I made it about halfway through this level and started to feel pretty bad. So I just kind of ended the recording. So I've got some idea of what's going on here. And so don't be surprised if I kind of know the layout of the map a little bit. But let me go ahead and read this. Malric's Veil vale is a pass said to have been created when the hero Malric's great dragon cut its way through the soft rock here. The narrow path leading through it only allows a few people at a time to cross the pass, making it easy to defend. A small tower has been erected to guard it. Alright, let's start the scenario. As you look across the muster of your warriors, banners flying proudly, you feel a sense of elation. Not so very long ago you dreamt of glory and fame, of leading an army into battle. Lost in thought, you suddenly notice a black cloaked figure next to you. Old Dougal. So, Fallison, the destiny you chose now lies before you. Your father is dead, and on the same day you are crowned High King. Strange how these things play out, eh? Alright, Medivh. The Black Bard, like his crows, is an omen of war. Some say he's ill luck, but I ken the ill luck always applies to the other side. He is a powerful ally to have, and we should be glad of his help. And then Elsa says, Brother, I can't see the Black Bard's spirit. It is shrouded deep in darkness. Where he goes, death follows. He makes me shiver, and the sooner he leaves, the better it will be. I would not want him by your side, no matter what clever words he speaks. I have met the Black Bard once, though I can't say I trust him. But it was him that brought the clans to unite behind our banner. I don't know his mind, and he surely likes to bend destiny to his will. And I think I chose last time I would rather have him on our side. Which adds him as a hero. He says, well then, Fallerson, let us go forth and face destiny together. A little bit extra supply. He joins our group. He's already like three levels up. Ulnar likes that. He says, good, I can. This will be a great boon in battle. And now we also have some music to listen to when we make camp. But Ailsa doesn't like it. She says, I thought you trusted my judgment. But clearly you don't heed my counsel, brother. Well, you have made your choice and I pray to the ancestors you won't regret it. Now that this has been settled, let us not tarry any longer. We march on the Borderlands today. Really cool, different art. I haven't seen these yet. Alright. The narrow path through Maurik's Vale is guarded by a tower further down, blocking anyone from reaching the Vale. A few men can hold off an army there. We will have to hope the enemy won't spot us before we've brought enough warriors through. I don't like it. Feels like a rat trap. We better be quick about this. I have heard of another path through the wilderness near here. Maybe we can find it and surprise the Borderlanders defending the tower. Let's try to surprise them then. Okay, like I said, I kind of know what's up. But our deployment zone is super narrow and it's really, really kind of obnoxious. Place him there. One of our berserkers here. Spear ladies all the way in the back. They can go here. Slingers about here. 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 And then we'll bring them up as needed. Okay. Good to go. So guys, if you look at the map, there's, I think, two caves this way. Let's actually bring here down. Perfect. Bring our skirmishers up. We can scout if we want and check it out. We see a bear. We see some bats. A few things we can interact with. But the path that we're looking to take is up here. And there's lots of spiders and there's junk up here. Speed is something we really want to get ASAP. But I want to get my warriors that can have no trouble with uh, different terrains. That's who I want to send up there. Also, let's take a second to look at our boy Dougal's Ravencloak's uh, his spells. So what I ended up going with, and I thought this was a pretty cool build because it was... We have so many casters, one, two, three, four now, and no mana. So there's just no way we can ever spend it all. So what I did was instead give him 25% magic damage. You'll see his magic damage goes up. We give him Dark Presence. Boom. So now he applies a damage debuff. To anyone he hits, great versus really powerful units. 
And then boom, we hit him with this, which is another 50% magic damage. So now, or at least another 25%. So now, his magic damage goes up to 95. Done. Which is quite good. Now we just need to get our Berserkers down and down and out. Get our big Chargers over here. This is not a very easy battle. I don't believe. Like I said, I didn't finish it, guys. I got sick. I could talk a little bit about that. It's not a pleasant subject, though. Basically, I woke up in the middle of the night and I felt as if I was having another one of those pretty serious bowel obstructions. And it's very scary for me to have that because... A bowel obstruction for me is potentially living an entire lifetime with a uh, colostomy bag. So I woke up, I think it was 3.30 in the morning, and I just walked. I probably walked 20 miles today. Uh, walked and drank just a ton of water, didn't eat a lot of food. Um, ate some, like, soup. And the idea behind that... Actually go... To get out here as soon as possible. I don't want to wait. Yeah, I like that. I like that too. Move down here. Give ourselves a nice little line of sight. Uh, but yeah, so the general idea is basically that I, uh, yeah, I don't want that to happen to me. <laughs> so I did everything I could all day long to prevent it. And then when I sat down to try and you know make some things happen, YouTube wise. It just wasn't. It didn't feel right. It wasn't. It wasn't happening. Okay, we picked up some levels. That's good. Get the hurlers down here. They do almost no damage versus bears because they're single target entities. Four damage. Almost not even worth attacking. Get our sister down. And then of course, we'll, we'll bring down all of our units, but like, it's just not going to be all that worth. Yeah, let's attack here first. Because any damage that they take is just going to be completely negated by regen. Good levels. Should have done that first, it would have applied the curse. See, that's the kind of stuff we need to think about now. We've got a lot of little angles that we need to cover. And so, if we look down here, we didn't really review the map like we normally do. There's a castle here, and this is the tower. So as soon as we start funneling out, this is basically where I turned it off to go, like, walk some more. Because I just couldn't. I couldn't do it anymore. Um, as soon as we start popping out here I scouted and that like let loose in a huge number of dudes that just surrounded me in this position so I was in a huge concave and lots of lame stuff started happening but what we're gonna do now that I kind of have a bit of a lay of the land get this wolf mother out of here too I want to get her over here because I want to capture some spiders uh, we need mana to do that, but I think I got about right here, and I got right to the lip of this before I stopped playing. So I know a little bit about what comes next. Get everybody moving in the right direction. Get the right unit supporting over here. I want the wolf mother and the javelin throwers to come up here with these four. Everyone else is coming down south. Especially Tyr and these slingers. Our slingers just feel really weak right now. It might be worth considering if we have the materials to get two wolf killers just for the damage. Yeah, they're just a stronger unit, but like, we've got to get to these better tier stuff. Alright, can we do anything else? I don't think so. So let's skip. And spiders right off the bat gonna like bottleneck us. Oh, ambush. Uh, feels bad, man. 
We're gonna see if we can't capture some spiders for ourselves. And Berserkers just absolutely crush them. Not 100% sure why. But they do. Everyone else seems to have a little bit of a hard time killing them. But as I said, I kind of don't want to push too far in here until I'm like really set up. Where's Tyr? Tyr is like the most important unit that's not in the front lines right now. Get our charger there. Okay, we're getting close. Dangerously close, I think. Hurler's got to be in a good position. Let's just move everyone up. All good. Neutral captured the shrine, but once we get the speed, that'll be pretty nice. That'll help us traverse the wild a lot better. And I don't know if these four units alone can make a big difference attacking the enemy from the flank, but maybe it'll be enough of a distraction that it could be a big deal. Oh, nice. Okay, so we get this magic damage. Man, we really need mana. Frenzy is stacked high. Okay, this is where it gets... Man, it's so scary. Uh, I don't know what the best thing to do is, honestly. It's what it comes down to. I want to get Tyr, Valerson, Dougal, the Chargers, a set of Berserkers. I want to make a nice, powerful front line with the artillery in the back. So like here, tucked in this nice, safe corner. But it's very dangerous. They have a lot of stuff. Get them down here. So this is what I did last time. I charged in. And this is like where I stopped. There's longbows all throughout here. There's dudes in the woods, I'm sure. It's a bad time to go down here and attack. We could probably get away with it here. But unless there's longbows here and then we get shot. It's not worth it. It's not what these units are really good at. But we'll skip it. Easy to forget that he is a melee guy. And we need to get him out. From behind the uh, the crowd. Alright, let's see what the enemy does. I really don't mind when Ailsa takes a little bit of damage. Over, you know, overloading some of our melee-centric heroes. That was a lot of damage, though. This is what we kind of need, though. We need him to feed us kills. Look how many. Boy, I hate those things. Right, let's go over here and take that. Come through there. Go there. It's a trap. I guess we heal right now. Gotta get Tyr in the front line.
Tough to know what exactly the right move is with no mana. We can do some serious damage with our hurlers. It's about 50%. Between all four of these, I think we could kill these javelin throwers. But maybe there's a better thing to do. They all have charge defense, so we can't use the big... Oh, wow, that's a one-shot on these things? Yeah, but it's really, really tough on our trolls here. Who are these guys? Let's kill some models. I hate these longbow units. They feel so strong. Yeah, let's do some of this. Get Tyr just right up in that front line. Get these other Berserkers in there where we need them to be. Sorry if this is taking a while, guys. This is definitely a game of, like, math. And I'm worried that we could lose Dougal here. Man, that is such a beating. Let's take that defensive fire for the trolls. I feel like we just put a pretty huge dent in them. Yeah, now they're like broken. Seems good. Maybe should have just killed these units off. They're going to get a chance to run. Once again, should have attacked first with Ravencloak because he's going to apply that debuff, which would have meant that they would be less hurt. Hmm. Move up. Okay. Nothing else. Nothing else. Don't like this at all. He's only got 62 HP. Let's bring them down to scout. Holy crap. Okay, so there's a ton of dudes over there. There's a mana pool here. There's dragon bones here. And plunder the veil. Does that mean I have to take these places too? Because I think we can take this tower pretty quickly, but plundering the veil, does that mean I have to take all the all the places? We'll find out soon, I guess. Alright, they live to fight another day. I don't like that, but that's the way it is. We gotta get these, we gotta finish off these kills. We can't just let them live. And I feel like once we get out of this tight area, we'll be able to really maneuver and, and do what we want on the map. I think these types of units, like, only seem to activate once we scout them out. Oh, yes, please. No stupid ambushes. For the love of God. Alright. Well, that worked swimmingly. Go over there. Go over here. There. There. What can we hit with these guys? Man, we can't quite get the kill. You want to hit like as healthy of units as possible, it seems like. They can one-shot the Thane? That's unbelievable. What if they use Breakthrough? 
Breakthrough kills them. I think it stops them there because it hits, uh, these guys have break charge. Hold on. I mean, that's incredible, though. Yeah, let's do that. Wow, because we killed them, they didn't actually get that... That save. Very interesting. Alright, that's a kill. Okay, these calf, yeah, they're chilling here and they're resting. But I'm not really fooled. They are strong. So these guys are Imperial Lancers. They have 6 armor, 270 health, only 3 models. Uh, their sword weapon is not that strong. But what is important is that these guys have a lance. And breakthrough, which does a ton. And I'm pretty wary about how much damage they can do. Here. Do some of that. Person there. Kill that guy. It's all about maximizing our kills. We've just punched, I mean, we punched an enormous hole through this front. And we didn't lose a thing. Hard to say exactly what we gained, but we didn't lose anything. I don't want to go into a spider web if I don't have to, but I guess I might have to. What does it do? Lowers our armor and lowers our speed, so we can't move for how long? Two turns? Alright, that's not good. We don't have enough gold to upgrade those those ladies to ensure that they survive there. We've got two easy kills here if we go get them. And she broke the charge. No doubt they were trying to go for like some sort of charge on um, on Dougal. We can't move them. Makes sense. All right, you guys go. We need that pool. And there's a camp here too. Yeah, let's go take that castle. All right. So we took it, but we can't raid it with these guys. Or can we? I don't know. I don't know why we can't raid it. Be a little bit smart about this and how we're going to do it. No reason not to get our full surrounds and, and stuff like that. All right, we have taken the tower. The Borderlands steads lie before us now. We have to conquer their steads quickly before they gather their warriors. We need provisions for the battles ahead. Ah, I can almost taste their beer already. All the fighting is making me thirsty. Good thing I have made enough cups. Yeah, he, he makes cups out of skulls, so there you go. Let's take those steads, and tonight everyone will feast like princes. All right. So we see there's, I mean, there's some within reach of us. I just want to rest here. Definitely want to rest here. May as well rest. Do 
because I just don't think we need them. Now, let's get them into the forest. No chance of any of those units coming back. That's what I want to see. And here, we kind of want to scout. I think I want to go west first. Break this area. Get another mana pool. Get these dragon bones. Okay, so there's three areas. Let's start moving this way. Is anyone not gone yet? Okay, they haven't, but that's because they can't. Oh, wow. Okay. They've got guys. That makes sense. Poachers? Yeah, let's do that. Are there just going to be like a million poachers here? Because, man, that would be real lame. Okay, we need to take that location. Let's do that this turn. Make sure we get it. Our Berserkers might take so much damage that they're going to need to retreat soon. Honestly, would have thought that we would be able to raid this. But I guess we don't. Let's, let's double check that. Let's really make sure that we're not missing out on opportunities. By using some of the units that are... Nearby, but don't necessarily need to travel very far. Let's come over here. Yeah, we can't raid it. Okay, good to know. Come down this way and scout. So more Imperial Lancers. Anything else? There doesn't appear to be any enemies near us, which is kind of a big worry factor. We'll heal up. We need a turn to rest. Our hard hitters definitely needed a turn. Alright, let's hope we don't get shot to death by a million poachers that we can't see. That would be a uh, pretty high degrees of lame. Alright, well, I guess we were glad we were in a castle. Oh, look at the look at the range on this. Garbage. Oh, I hate it. Let's just take this. Oh, we picked up some pups. And they're not mercs. I'm so happy we just got some more wolfhounds. Okay, I don't want to lose them, though. Maidens come forward. Let's move back to... My big fear is losing units. And as long as we're in the woods, we're probably okay. Because we're going to get so much resistance. But let's move backwards here. And next turn, we'll try and make a concentrated attack. Pretty sure this is the unit we let go. Alright. Peace out. So only one Thane sitting in front of us. Honestly not very scared of a single Thane. Oh no, tears hovering. What does it mean? Oh Jesus, why do these guys stomp? Things. I don't understand. Is this the armor piercing? They just completely ignore all their armor and do like max damage to them. Oh, that's brutal. I was about to do like a big surround and strategies. Strategies not needed apparently. Yeah, we're going to go a little bit far out here. I think we can get away with it. And I don't know if we need all of our army here necessarily. 
but we're going to take this place and we're going to do it quickly. We probably send, let's send Ailsa back there. We can send some units back that way, no, no harm in it. These dragon bones, let's go see what's up. There's got to be like a, there's going to be a bear or some other equally horrifying creature there to, to smash us. Okay, no range anything, so let's just get in there. Just beat him up the old-fashioned way. I'm happy to get some wolfhounds. I mean, that flushes out or finishes out our supply. Oh, uh, longbows. Okay. Things starting to make sense once again. Really don't mind if they shoot at Olnar. That's why we left them there. Or the Maidens. Uh, we don't like lowering their, their armor, obviously. But they are shielded. Camp. Camp. Let the shield maidens take the blows. Come on, wolves. Ah, we didn't get the kill. Okay. Very close. Um, if we honestly though, if we don't rest here. Nah, let's do it. Stop messing around. That's the that's the play. That's the play for sure. Did we get something from this camp? I don't remember at all. No, let's just move up. I don't remember if we got anything. Mostly just on me and my bad memory. So, boy, do we want these locations. But we need to be careful we don't get kind of lured into a bad spot where we're fighting multiple scary units. For all we know, there's two more of these longbowmen out here and they're just going to, you know, kill our trolls. And then we're just like, well, didn't see that coming. All right. You approach the half-buried skeleton of a large dragon, the giant beast bones still command awe, and you can feel the power emanating from them still. I have heard of this spot. It is called the Worm's Footprint. The legends say dragons came here for their final rest. It is a place of great power. This is the resting place of Malric's first dragon. He was a loyal friend to the Dragon Sworn. You speak as if you knew him, Ravencloak, but this beast has been dead for hundreds of years. Ha! I must have heard too many legends. It feels as if I was there. The bones seem to vibrate with power as you step closer to inspect the site. Will you touch them? Hell yeah, I'm going to touch them. You touch the bones in awe and notice a golden ring lying at your feet. As you pick it up, you suddenly hear an ancient voice in your head speaking in a strange tongue. You do not understand its words, but you can sense a meaning. The dragon, it spoke to me. It told me to renew Maurik's bond. What does that mean? Maurik the dragon sworn. He was a powerful hero in the Shadow Wars, but no one knows what became of him. He was a friend of the Great Dragons, and he rode one of them into battle. So how can we renew the bond? What do we need to do? Alas, I cannot say. I do not know how Malric forged his bond with the dragons, but search inside yourself, and you may find more meaning to the dragon's words. The voice of the dragon is still echoing in your head when a dark mass stirs from behind its skull and a giant eagle bear pounces toward you, its eyes glittering with rage. An eagle bear? Are you kidding me? This super monster? Oh god. Oh no. We picked up an item? What is it? It's purple. The wearer becomes a dragon slayer. Oh crap. That sounds cool. What do we give that to? Let's do this. 
Oh my god, we have so many like items that weren't being used. I had no idea. Man, that's my bad. I guess she could be a dragon slayer? I mean, I don't know. I don't see any dragons around here. But, maybe that's useful? I do know that I don't want to die to this dang thing. But I also know that I've kind of committed my guys up here. That's why I was worried about this exact scenario where I went down south and got distracted by one of these huge beasts. I think we can really... I think we can kill it. If we bring a lot of our berserkers to bear. Now we have a flanking attack. Let's lower its damage. And that'll kill it. Yeah. Yeah. Would have loved to get our wolf mother on that. To get those kind of like enchantments. Alright, you'll take the shots. Come on, Tyr. Do it for me, baby. That sounded way more wrong than I meant it to. <laughs> I did not mean it to sound like that. Um, okay. What are you guys doing? Anything? Yes. I hate them so much. So we're splitting our army in two, essentially. Almost. So close. Dang. Anyone not do anything? Alright, good. No real harm from that. No doubt they'll run away and we'll just chase them and kill them if we can. Perfect. Get out of here. Kill them with those guys, that way we have like a bit of a pivot point, sort of. If you know what I mean. Like, they're they're kind of like, they don't need to move this turn. Everyone else needs to shift around them. To go to the correct spots. Get a little bit of vision. Our wolves probably make excellent scouts. I don't really want to send them that far out, though. I am very happy to have wolves again. Want to be cautious. I see this, this area here. No doubt it's going to have a lot of enemies. We have a lot to bring to this fight though. Eagle bear is done. I want to go here and scout. Okay, no nonsense hiding from us. Can we do one of these numbers? Okay, that was a mistake. We had... No, it wasn't. It wasn't a mistake. That was fine. That was fine. Raid that. The annoying thing is that they'll be able to get away from us because they're so fast. Move here with Ravencloak and next turn we'll heal up. I think it's safe to say we know we can move this away, but... And there's nothing up here that we need. Being methodical, we're eating into our region wealth, but not, not too bad. Okay, I think everyone's good. 
Oh, wow, they killed themselves. Thank you. Amulet of Evasion. We're starting to get some perps, guys. Big retreat chance and movement range. Who could use that? Give it to our wolves. I don't know. Looks like a good item. You want it on someone that you want to be able to retreat and you want to have good movement. And I think wolves with a lot of movement means they can really choose their targets and scout for us. Um, especially through the woods. But also gives them a chance to run away because they're a little bit flimsy. I think that's kind of a really good trade-off. Yeah, let's do some of that. And that'll free up everyone else to run back. Raid there. Move here. Move there. Rest here. And we'll go and beat up this bear. And do we even rest, though? We could take out the bear right now. Alright, we attack with him first to lower its stats, or its attack damage. We get the full flank, and then we get the kill. And we'll rest with him next turn. We have a lot of mana we're not using. See if we can't start making use of that very soon. For summons or, or whatever. Alright. Okay, so I do not at all know what's over here. I could send my wolves... I'm a little worried, though, that we just walked into something. Bats. Bats are what we walked into. Okay, we can support them, though. Hmm. Interesting. I still don't see anybody. You guys rest. I don't know how badly we'll need them in this upcoming fight. I imagine there's got to be something here, though. We're about to get wrecked by bats. Anyone currently not moving? Need some help? I don't think so. Okay, good to go. Yeah, they had an ambush going. If we'd have ran right in, they would have gotten a double Berserk ambush. Wow, that might have killed anybody. Our Wolfhound should be able to very nicely fight off these bats, but we we don't have much range in the area. We've seen how annoying they can be. We could take the bats if we want. They're a recon animal. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's move up two. Which, of course, makes us a bit weaker. what to do here. We could summon. You know, let's do that. Check this guy out. Huh. He's pretty big. He doesn't dissipate either. Kind of the coolest part about them. Oh, wow. We found the Thane. God, we can almost kill him. <laughs> Hope we can retreat if they go to attack us. Travel this way. Go to the edge of the woods. We 
we can scout next turn. Everyone else just needs to travel as far as they can this turn. And we'll worry about healing and stuff like that resting next turn with some of them. I don't like that we've kind of put our wolves in danger, our brand new buddies. Oh, thank God they retreated. I didn't even think about the berserkers moving back. But that would suck. Everybody wants a piece of our wolves. Did they die? Can't see them anymore. Guess they're dead. Well, I definitely would have moved these ladies in a different direction had I known that the bats were dead, but I didn't really realize that. Thane's got to go, though. Move this way and get the kill. And we even get a nice little premature scout of this area. Roll out. Sorry if this isn't like the most entertaining battle, guys, but this is like uh pretty in pretty intense for me. Man, they even give us this awesome, like, forest to move through. Let's scout it. I only see four units. I think we they had five at least. But I wouldn't be surprised if this is a longbow. So don't really count on that. I was just wondering, can we bull rush to travel? We'll kill our own unit if we do that? That's insane. But it looks like we can. Like, if we move him out of the way... It just has a cooldown. Oh, that's a nice little, like, cheat. So with that, they can move super far. Uh-huh, we're learning the secret tech. Yeah, and they're terrified, so they're going to waste their turns. And we've got this massive elemental that we're going to send in. Okay, that we don't like. You guys get out. Trying to get everyone. Raid here. Be very careful about like retaliatory berserker attacks. Against like, let's say, our wolf mother here. Move her up. Take the shot, and that weakens uh, them enough for the gatekeeper to come in here and make the big play. So, what else do we have? Didn't quite get him there. We can't finish him with the wolves, otherwise I would. It's pretty damn close, though. 
Get these big boys in. Let's see. I would not be surprised if there is a longbow here that will shoot us next turn. And we are still hidden. So if anyone comes out to meet us in melee, they're going to get ambushed. Yep, Longbowman, as predicted. Let's let the wolves get their revenge. I was just playing with a dog outside earlier. Not our dog. My wife walks a dog. And uh, she brought it over to the house. And guys, I got bit by so many mosquitoes. I don't know about y'all, but where I live, mosquitoes are just like horrible. South Texas. I was watching something the other day that was talking about how... Yeah, you know, let's get in. Let's get in here. You could basically kill all of the human-sucking mosquitoes on the planet, and it would, it would... Nothing bad would happen. That's what scientists believe, anyway. And I'm inclined to, uh, to agree with them. It's hard to see what harm would come from killing those types of creatures. When you would basically still be leaving the populations left alive that don't, Feed on people. Get some full surrounds here. Alright, move everybody where they need to be and then we can kind of do the math. Ooh, she can come in too. That's a little bit sketchier though. She doesn't have to be in melee by any means. We can just sit back here, but we want her DPS on somebody. Alright, let's decimate this unit. Take that charge. Alright. And then because of that, we still have a three-man surround, so we get that flank bonus. And we're almost done. Not so bad. We didn't lose anyone, which is kind of the big deal. I love these chargers, guys. I went online after I, like, made that decision. And saw how many people like crap on this unit. And I don't know how good they are of course in the late game. If that's a thing. I gotta tell you. They seem pretty damn good to me. They're just absolute linebackers. And once they're you know fully upgraded. I don't see how anything can beat them. Okay, so hopefully we get to raid. Let me raid it. We have taken Maurik's Vale. Our way to the Borderlands is clear now. You can celebrate your first conquest, Fallerson. Enjoy the taste of victory, but do not forget the lives lost to get you here. We shall raise our cups in memory of them and send their kin some of our loot to honor their bravery. We have gained enough gold to give some of it away. Okay, I don't know why this... She received a promotion, Brave. Hope that'll counteract her disappointed. A lot of people got Brave. I don't know what, why. Looks like everyone got Brave. We have a lot of gold. We'll spend it to keep them leveled. Alright, let's see what happens after the fact. So, Fallerson's here. He says, The lands of Clan Isil and Magnar lie between us and Krell's Landing, the main stronghold of the Empire forces in the Borderlands. We will have to decide which path we shall take to reach it. Another decision. I really don't like that. I want to do all the. I want to do all the missions. Why do I have to choose? I don't know. I've got eight weapons though. Armor is really the problem. What it seems like. We pick up. Yeah, we have one additional supply. I think it's because we grab these wolves. We could get one more unit. 
We could get another unit of Berserkers if we wanted to, but I feel like we need more range than we do Berserkers. And the range that we have, we really want to upgrade them to Wolf Killers. I think I'm going to do that now. Slingers are just too weak as is, is what it seems to me. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. Iron Javelins. We get a lot of work from these ladies. They're great in the forests. Uh, they're good anti-air. They're good anti-ranged uh, units because they do have these shields. And with a little bit of help, they're quite strong. These ones are also faded. They have extra damage reduction, so they're super tanky. Good to remember that. That's from way back whenever we went to the Witch's Hut. Uh, but that used up most of our supplies. Pretty much all of our supplies. But we're I think we're all the stronger for it. We just, you know, we went from... She's a tier 3 unit, correct? Yeah, we can Yeah, tier 3 unit. I don't think she's anywhere near the same level as like a Winged Maiden, for instance. Um, I, don't, I don't think these tiers are exactly correct. I would say these. this is tier 1. These are tier 2. And then these are all, these are tier 3, perhaps? Kind of all of these being tier 3. And then these would be like a tier 4. Pretty obvious by the, the, uh, the amount being charged for these units that they're probably amazing. If I had a little bit more gold, I would probably pick up a group of younglings to make another slinger. But we can always do that soon. What we really want, I, I think, is another troll hurler. But we don't, we've only ever seen, what, one or two liquid mana? Two, I think. So that's going to be a hard call to make. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We did it. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better right now. I might actually go get some more exercise and see about, yeah, just continuing to feel better. Uh, wish me luck. But anyway, y'all, that's it. And uh, as always, I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.